Hey there all of you. How are you all? So today my goal is to explain it to you. The relationship between the angle of incidence and angle of emergence in case of a glass slab. Right. So here is the glass slab. Refractive index of the glass slab is eta 2. Generally it is 1.5 but with respect to the letters I have assigned the letter eta 2 and eta 1 is the first medium in which we have incident ray. So incident ray is generally in air. So refractive index of air is 1 which I have symbolically expressed as eta 1 right. Now this is the incident ray. So incident ray falls on surface AB. So due to change in medium from air to glass it bends towards the normal. So instead of this expected path along straight line it bends towards the normal. This is the angle of incidence. This is the angle of refraction. Always remember angles are measured with respect to the normal and ray. Now this ray continues to travel straight till here. Again due to change in medium from denser to rarer because this ray is now coming from glass and going inside the air. So it, instead of going straight it will bend in, it will bend away from the normal. Correct. So this ray is referred as emergent ray. This is the angle of emergence. Right. Again traveling back into the same medium. So we also know that this is the expected path. Right. And this is the incident ray expected path and this is the emergent ray. And emergent ray always has to be parallel to the expected path. Right. And I mean that angle of incidence and angle of emergence are always equal. Now I will prove it why they are equal. Correct. So for that you must have an in-depth knowledge of Snell's law. If you don't know what is Snell's law, the you can just watch the video and the link is given in the description and you can understand it very well from there. There are some experiments which are related to this glass lab which also the links are given in the description. So let us apply the Snell's law at surface AB. So for surface AB, this is the incident ray, this is the refracted ray. And for surface CD, this is the incident ray, this is the refracted ray. But overall talking, this is incident ray, refracted ray, emergent ray, right? So let us apply Snell's law for surface AB. Eta 1 sin i, eta 1 into sin i. that is equal to eta 2 into sin r. This is my equation number 1. Correct. And now the same relation I am supposed to apply over here Snell's law because Snell's law can always be applied at the boundary where refraction takes place. So here is the first boundary surface. Here is the second boundary second surface. So for surface CD eta 2 now as you can see that this is Z formation alternate angle so these two are alternate angles this and this one so if this is R this is also R we know that whenever Z formation are there then anyhow these two normals are parallel to one another and this is the transversal so these two are alternate angles now if this is our this angle of incidence is also the same as this angle of refraction right but symbolically this is not r this is angle of incidence for this surface but value wise these two are equal so eta 2 into sin r that is equal to eta 1 into sin e now this is the angle of emergence and this is referred as emergent ray correct so this is eta 1 sin e now this is relationship number two now if you look carefully eta 1 sin i is equal to eta 2 sin r and eta 2 sin r is equal to eta 1 sin e so if you look at these two they are same so if these two are same then these two must be same because this this are equal and this this are equal so these two needs to be same correct so that means we can express it in the next equation eta 1 sin i that is equal to eta 1 sin e so eta 1 eta 1 getting cancelled and sine of two angles are only equal if angle i is equal to angle e 
so here these two angles are proved the same with respect to the Snell's law so if these two angles are same then this ray always has to be parallel with respect to the expected path always remember one thing that if there are multiple slabs suppose this is slab of eta 2 then eta 3 then eta 4 there are four slabs but finally the emergent ray is going in the same medium like this is air and finally the emergent ray is in the air then always the angle of incidence and emergence are going to be the same so that will be discussed in the part b the cases of the multiple slabs but hopefully guys you have understood till here this is not the case with the prism this is only the case with respect to glass slab because its two surfaces are parallel and always remember if the incident ray and emergent ray are in the same medium as over here then angle of incidence and angle of emergence will always be the same so hopefully guys you have understood this stay tuned for part 2 thank you for watching the video